Hi everyone, welcome back to the vlog. This is the start of another week, a uh, very exciting week actually, one where we are heading down to Birmingham um, for our first trade show of the year and what will hopefully be the biggest one. So we've been busy laying aside a lot of the items that we need to go. Um, I think we have got everything put aside that we need to. Georgina's been kind of helping with a lot of the important smaller bits that I will inevitably forget about. So I think we're going to start getting the van loaded and we're heading off early tomorrow morning. And we've got our dogs that are coming to look after the wee ones. So we're going to miss them, but I'm actually kind of looking forward to a week's break of not getting up at 5.30 in the morning because of this wee one. Anyway, let's get this van loaded. It's me. Um, I believe Gordon has already spoken to you this morning. So we have just finished packing up the van and I gave the place a little tidy up as well just so that it's not a complete bomb site when I get back. So yeah, I think we have everything. Fingers crossed. Um, at least if there is anything we've forgotten then it's not like super duper important. So yeah, we're just heading home for the day now. Obviously Gordon's taking the van home and I've got the dogs in the back. We're just gonna get all of our own stuff packed up. Um, for the week and then we'll be heading off tomorrow morning so I will probably see you in Birmingham unless I vlog tomorrow but there's not going to be much going on as you can imagine so I will see you later on. Good morning guys it's Saturday aka setup day. Say hi. Hi. If we sound really hoarse, it's because we left the aircon on all night in the hotel room, so yeah. We've literally not been anywhere that's had aircon for like years. Yeah. So I forgot <laughs> to not leave it on all night. Um, so we have just left the hotel um, and we're about an hour away from the NEC, so hopefully it's not too chaotic trying to get to the right hall and get parked and get kind of into our stand. Um, in the past sometimes it's been like a 10 minute walk from where we've been allowed to park our van to our stand and we've got obviously like a lot of heavy stuff to move so yeah. Do we? Yes. Do we? We do. The I'm going to try. We. No I am going to try and help but yeah. <laughs> obviously I have the upper body strength of a five year old so mm -hmm. yeah. It's not ideal, but we'll, we'll get there. Should, we should be okay though, because they've given us, they've actually given us like a, book it, a booked in time slot this time, which we've never had. Yeah. So we've got like a two hour window to unload the entire van, which I'm hoping is going to be enough. Yeah. Well, we it'll have, have to be. It'll encourage us to be quicker, won't it? Yeah. So the problem we normally have is that when we unload everything out the van, we, as with everyone else, just start setting our stand up and then you leave your van, which yeah. is a little bit naughty. You should move it and be considerate of everyone else, but by the time we've normally queued for three hours, I'm in far too much of a bad mood to be considerate yeah. and just want to get my stand set up. So yeah. now we have to actually unload and then move our van. And then go back and set and then go up. Back. Yeah. But it's fine because we've actually got a hotel nearby this time. Yeah, it's like a seven minute walk from the yeah. okay. So we will see you later.
Hi guys, that's it. Quarter past three now. We've just finished setting up the stand. Uh, we've just get a, got to get the candles put out, but we tend to keep them in the boxes overnight just for protection, make sure nothing falls on a concrete floor and breaks because that would be annoying. And it's really cold in here. And it's really cold in here. So we don't want to find any wet spots on the candles in the morning, yeah. which is, it doesn't really happen very often at all for us, but I just know that it would happen when we're like about to show them. I know, yeah, we I mean, it was, what was it, like two degrees or something when we left this morning, so it's probably minus something overnight, so yeah, better safe than sorry. Um, I think that just what does us for today. Yeah. Where we've watched the Scotland England game. Scotland. England. Well, I'll win either way. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, or lose either way. We'll just <laughs> find out. Good morning, guys. It is Sunday, um, which means it's day one of the Spring Fair. We've just got here. Um, it's just after eight and the show starts at nine. So we are just getting the place set up for the day. Gordon's getting all of our candles out on our stands and we need to get all of our fairy lights on, our neon sign on, um, and just make sure that everything is ready for um, the visitors coming to the sand today. And um, while Gordon does that, I am going to get all of our tote bags packed up or at least make a start on them. These only arrived like literally the day before we left, so we have not had a chance to do anything with them yet. Um, but we brought it all from the van. We're only um, 10 minutes away from the hotel, obviously, so it wasn't too bad. Um, but yeah, we've got our flyers, business cards, pens, some Haribo sweeties, and lots and lots and lots of samples in here as well. So everyone will get two samples, I think. Um, and yeah, I'm going to get started because we've got a lot of bags to pack. <laughs> Two days later. Morning guys, it's Tuesday, it's day three here at the NEC and we're starting to fly. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm losing my voice. Yeah, I'm the same, I'm getting a little bit croaky. Um, it's been amazing, so we've had two full days so far. We're just in, set up the stand, got the tote bags all done, ready for another day, but I think we've, um, we've got about 29 new stockists getting put on uh, online when we get back, hopefully. Yeah, but we've had a lot of interest as well, so yeah. it'll be interesting to see kind of in the coming weeks what happens. Yeah. yeah what happens. But yeah, that was kind of a target for the whole show, so we've done that on day two, so two more days to go. Should be quieter days, so hopefully we we'll get a chance to have a wee wander around and see some of our pals that come and exhibit at all these shows. It's just been really nice to actually come here and meet a lot of our existing stockists that we've maybe only met once before or haven't maybe seen for years. Yeah. Um, some guys that have come down from like Aberdeen, um, like Teresa from Hush, who we've not seen for ages. But we both had to travel about 400 miles to bump into each other, which is hilarious. Um, and we've met some, some of our stockers from Fife, from just up the road from the unit. Again, 400 miles later and we bump into each other, so it's been, it's been really good just to have a catch up and a chat and just see how everybody's year's been. It's been a tough one, so it's yeah. been quite important for self-employed people to kind of lean on each other and kind of support yeah. each other, kind of share tips and tricks of what's going on. And we've actually met lots of you guys here. Um, I've kind of lost track of how many subscribers have come on the sand and been like, oh, it's George. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite funny that people in the stands like nearby, they're like, she's famous. Yeah. <laughs> nope. No, it's been nope. really nice to kind of actually meet lots of you guys. So. Yeah, yeah. It's been good. So let's see what the next couple of days bring and we will report back and we might be on the floor. Yeah. 
<laughs> worth it. So that's us for another week. Uh, thanks so much for watching again. Um, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. And um, we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.